Hello there, and I do hope this video finds you in a place of, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the new place where we can find ourselves in? We really have to discover that, and we really have to create it, don't we? Because looking outside ourselves, it's not going to uh, give us much of a sense of peace. So we have to we have to figure that out, you know, each of us individually, actually, and as family units, but especially individually as adults, um, how we can find a resting place in all of this extreme uh, upset, upside down world we now find ourselves in. How do we do that? How do we do that? Well, we take time. Now we have it. You know, we are forced down now. As I say, we are like shaken to our core. We are taken to our knees. Do you know? What we thought was was firm ground is no longer. Everything's up for question. We don't know what the, we never knew what the future was really gonna bring, but now everything is just thrown up like all the balls in the air, you know? And how they're gonna drop and where they're gonna drop and how we're gonna survive, survive it. So, um, and, yeah, and there are so many big, huge problems in the world and people dealing with this pandemic. So, um, and we can't address it all. I can't address it all. I can just address my small part. What is my small part in this world? Do you know? Well, what, 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 what's the purpose of my place here? How can I be of service to others? Do you know? And to, to help in some way. And this is the only way I can think to do it other than doing what I'm doing already and just reaching out to people that I know and in my neighborhood and, and others just to, know, to uh, let them know that I'm available for dropping off groceries and running errands if that be needed. But uh, it still feels like it's a, it's a small part of it, doesn't it? So in order to be uh, all that I, we can be and... Uh, we have to find a place of settling in ourselves. So um, looking online for meditations and calming exercises, absolutely, absolutely critical and crucial at this time because how, how good are we for anyone if we are in a state of upset, anger, and just wanting to lash out, you know, because things aren't the way we had hoped they were gonna be. So I know it's bringing out the best in many, many people. I also know it's bringing out the worst, the shadow side of us too. You know, the greediness, this is all, you know, I need this, I need that. What do we all need, you know? And how can we help one another? So uh, it's time to reconsider all the things we thought were true. And we needed to do it anyway, didn't we? Don't, haven't we needed to recalibrate? Haven't things gone really um, off the tracks even in our own lives, you know, when we find ourselves just being driven and um, forgetting what's really important, we are now forced to see what's important. We are now forced to feel our own feelings and we can only escape from them for so long, you know? Watching TV or d distracting ourselves with whatever can only last for so long. It is a very, a very short-lived uh, distraction and not very satisfying either. It's just gratifying in a strange way to our lowest elements, you know, um, for a short time. But in the bigger scheme of things, how do we build ourselves up? How do we replenish what's being depleted? You know, how do we do that? So I wanted to make um, a, a few videos about different ways that can we can do that. And uh, one way I'll start with is uh, now that we're looking d differently and maybe looking at ways to solve different problems um, or looking at who we are deeply as a person, as a soul, um, what we can do is use, the, uh, use writing as a tool. We can ask our subconscious and our inner wisdom really knows a lot. It is very, um, it's very experienced, <laughs> but we don't tap into it as often as we might. So a way to do that that's really powerful and fun is to get a nice big piece of paper, big tablet, and ask yourself a question. Um, not like, why am I a loser? <laughs> or why am I whatever it might be? 
Uh, we have to we have to keep laughing too. We do have to keep laughing through all this, you know. So wherever we can find it, we got it. We got it. We got to take it. Anyway, um, so ask ask a question like, um, whatever a problem, whatever challenge we are facing, how can I not why, especially not why, because your mind will find answers for all the whys. Why this? Why that? Why that? It doesn't matter why. It matters how can I improve. How can I find my way in? What do I need to do to tap into my greater wisdom? How can I be more of service to others? And what is the, what is the challenge I see when I look at my, my mate, my husband, my wife, my children? What is the challenge I see? How can I, um, how can I explore this? How can I find some answers? And you know what? You write that question at the top of the paper and then just let your mind go. Just let your mind write down anything. It's just for you. This is not for anybody else's viewing. That's the beauty of it. So there's no editing. Just write. Just write till you can't write anymore. And just keep thinking about that question. Keep whatever that question may be. Just keep putting that back in the forefront of your mind, you know. Don't go spinning off into like a negative, like, well, I do this or they did that and I'm pissed off about this. Not that. That's not going to get you very far. How can I not be pissed off, you know? What can I do so that uh, I'm the best that I can be? Do you know? And just see what comes out of the writing. And then when it's not fun anymore, you're not getting any information, put it down. Put it down. But I mean, it's, it's at our fingertips. You don't need money to do it. You know, you don't need, it. You don't need any tools but a, you know, a piece of paper and a pen. Anyway, um, I find that to be a really, really wonderful thing um, to use as a tool to go inward. What is the wisdom that we carry around, around with us all the time and that we forget that's there because we're always outside distracted. And now all those outside distractions or so many of them are, are being taken away. You know, we are forced down. We are forced down. How can we come up from this? How can we, how can we find out what is down there? Do you know? And make use of it. Make use of it, not just discover, oh my gosh, I'm a really dark, depressed person. But, but you know, here are, here's what I'm finding. How can I improve on that? What do I need to know? Ask all, it's a wonderful way, a wonderful tool. So I hope you find that useful. And, um, and even if you can't write, and maybe you can record on your phone uh, your answers and then erase them when you don't want it anymore, play with it. See where your wisdom um, holds some of these secret answers, you know, that we've just been too busy and distracted to, to uh, look for and to discover. Okay, well, until next time, stay well.